One day, a man was walking by a road when he heard a cat meowing from the bushes nearby. The cat was stuck and needed help getting out. When the man reached out, the cat got scared and scratched the man. The man screamed in pain but didn't back down. He tried again and again, even as the cat continued to scratch his hands. Another passerby saw this and said, just let it be. The cat will find a way to come out later. The man didn't pay heed but tried until he helped the cat. Once he let the cat free, he told the other man, the cat is an animal, and its instincts make him scratch and attack. I am a human and my instincts make me compassionate and kind. Moral Treat everyone around you like you want to be treated. Adhere to your own rules or ethics, not theirs. The Clever Crow Once upon a time, there lived a crow. One summer day, the crow felt thirsty and began to look for some water. She flew over the fields but couldn't find. She felt exhausted and she was about to give up. Then she saw a jug near a farm. She quickly landed down there to check whether there was any water. She looked inside the jug. There was some water. She wanted to drink but couldn't reach the water because of jug's narrow neck. She tried to push it down, but it was too heavy. She thought a while, then she looked around and saw small stones. She picked the stones up one by one and threw them inside the jug. Thus, the water level rose up enough and she quenched her thirst thanks to her clever plan. Moral: If we think and work hard enough, we can find a solution to our problems. The Fox Without a Tail A fox that had been caught in a trap, succeeded at last, after much painful tugging, in getting away. But he had to leave his beautiful bushy tail behind him. For a long time he kept away from the other foxes, for he knew well enough that they would all make fun of him and crack jokes and laugh behind his back. But it was hard for him to live alone, and at last he thought of a plan that would perhaps help him out of his trouble. When they were all gathered together, the fox without a tail got up and made a long speech about those foxes who had come to harm because of their tails. This one had been caught by hounds when his tail had become entangled in the hedge. That one had not been able to run fast enough because of the weight of his brush. Besides, it was well known, he said, that men hunt foxes simply for their tails, which they cut off as prizes of the hunt. With such proof of the danger and uselessness of having a tail, said Master Fox, he would advise every fox to cut it off, if he valued life and safety. When he had finished talking, an old fox arose, and said, smiling, Master Fox, kindly turn around for a moment, and you shall have your answer. When the poor fox without a tail turned around, there arose such a storm of jeers and hooting, that he saw how useless it was to try any longer to persuade the foxes to part with their tails. Do not listen to the advice of him who seeks to lower you to his own level. The Donkey and the Cunning Fox Once upon a time, there lived two good friends, a donkey and a fox. One day, these close friends, the donkey and the fox started a journey. When they were on the road, they found a chest of gold and got back to their town cheerfully. The donkey offered to share the golds equally, but the fox had no intention of fair share. So, he made a cunning plan and said, My dear friend, let's not share this gold now. We shall take the amount that we need and then bury this gold under the tree near the creek. Thus, it will be safer. No one other than us knows the place of it. We can come here whenever we need it. The donkey accepted the fox's offer and they took some gold and buried it under the tree. 
After a short while, the fox came back and took all the gold. A few days later, the donkey needed gold and went to the fox. He told the fox he needed gold. They went to the place that they buried the gold. The fox dug under the tree with his feet but couldn't find the chest of gold. I shouldn't have trusted you. You came here and stole the gold. The fox yelled at the donkey. The donkey said he didn't steal the gold, but the fox didn't even give the donkey opportunity to speak by raising his voice further. There was no one knowing the place of the gold except us. Where is the gold? Who stole our gold? said the fox and they had a long discussion. However, the discussion never ended and so they decided to go to the court. The donkey insistently didn't accept the claim and defended itself constantly. The judge suspected of the fox. If you are so sure that the donkey stole the gold, then show us an evidence, told the judge. I have a witness sir, said the fox, the tree under which we buried the gold is a witness. The judge got surprised to this unconvincing evidence but with a calm manner said, if the tree is the witness of this event, so let's go and ask. Quote dot. The judge, the fox and the donkey arrived at the tree. The fox put his brother in the hollow of the tree beforehand and told him to answer the questions of the judge. The judge approached the tree and asked, dear old plain tree, tell us who stole the gold. The brother of the fox in the tree replied as if the tree was talking, the donkey. The judge got highly surprised to this. He approached the tree and put his ears on it. After a while, this tree is cursed. Put it on fire immediately, ordered the judge to his men. When the tree began to burn, the fox inside the tree started to scream, help. Help please help, I am burning. The judge ordered the fire to be extinguished. Then they took the brother fox out of the tree. The brother fox confessed everything that his brother planned. The judge took the gold from the fox and delivered it to the donkey. As the bale of fox's freedom, the judge transferred the fox's share to the state treasury and released the fox. The fox promised himself never to cheat again. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Sneha Versatile channel for, for videos.